Hi friends, welcome to the class of design and analysis of algorithms. Now, now the real subject starts. Like we will go to the definition of an algorithm. So what is this algorithm? An algorithm is a sequence of unambiguous instructions for solving a problem. So we'll see, we know what is an algorithm, like it's a step by step process. At basic level we know that. But here we'll go somewhat in depth of this. That is, algorithm is a sequence of unambiguous instructions for solving a problem. So here also he's saying that sequence of instructions, but these are unambiguous. Anyway, let me explain those things. What is this unambiguous instructions in the next line? That is for obtaining a required output for a legitimate input in a finite amount of time. So whenever you provide a sequence of instructions and as an algorithm, it has to take input and it has to provide the output with finite amount of time. That means it never goes to infinite amount. Because if it goes to infinite amount of time, definitely you cannot see it as an algorithm. Now based on these constraints, we have five constraints. Those are specified for an algorithm. We'll see those things. The first one, definiteness. So, of course, these things you call them as requirements, typical requirements of an algorithm. So, for obtaining a required output for a l any legitimate input in a finite amount of time. So, now we'll go to the typical requirements or properties of an algorithm. So, what are those properties? We'll see. The first one, definiteness. What is this definiteness? That is, each instruction is clear and unambiguous. Of course, in the first line I said it is unambiguous. So let me explain with an example. If I say add 5 to x, this is unambiguous. Like if I say add 5 to x, you need to, our computer will add x 5 to x. But if I say add 5 or 6 to x, what happens? So computer is in ambiguous mode dilemma that either 5 can be added or 6 can be added to x. So this, the instruction should not be like this. If the instructions are like this, this is you called as ambiguity. So this must not exist in your algorithm. So that is a property of definiteness. Now if you go to the next one, effectiveness. Effectiveness means every instruction must be very basic so that it can be carried out in principle by a person using pencil and paper. That means every instruction, whatever you are writing, that can be implemented. Already I told you in the previous slide that is your algorithm is in the next level is implemented as a program. That means it can be, it is able to program. That means whatever the instructions you have written, whatever the symbols that you have taken must be implemented in any of the computer environment. That is only you call it as effectiveness. That's why you need to write every instruction must, that is in basic. Now we'll go to the third one that is finiteness. What is this finiteness? If we trace out the instructions of an algorithm, then for all the cases, the algorithm terminates after a finite number of steps. That means if you take the decision or if you take any constraints, any cases, the algorithm must terminate. For some constraints, it is terminating the other constraint. If it doesn't terminate, definitely you cannot call it as an algorithm. For all the cases, it must be terminate for finite amount of time. It never goes to infinite loop. That is the fourth one is input. Input means zero or more quantities are externally supplied. Now we need to concentrate on this. For a particular algorithm or problem, if you are giving some input, it definitely gives some output. So here he is saying zero or more quantities. What is the zero inputs or more inputs? Let us take in your program, if you give the values int a equals to five, that means you are giving the input internal. You are supplying the input internal. Then I can say that externally I am supplying zero inputs. Or else if you want to give at the execution, that is you called as, you are giving the inputs. So that is the difference between zero or more quantities are externally supplied. Now the final one is output. Definitely why you are writing all these things, or why you are writing algorithm is definitely you require output. That's why at least one quantity is produced. So these five properties are taken into mind whenever you write an algorithm. That is definiteness, effectiveness, finiteness, input and output.